In continuation of the nationwide awareness exercise organized by the Police Service Commission, officers of the Adamawa and Taraba State Commands, heads of security agencies, traditional leaders and state officials, gather at the banquet hall of the government house in Yula, the Adamawa State Capital. The society's role in the enlistment of people with good morals into the police force is emphasized by the Police Service Commission and traditional institution. The society must encourage responsible and upright citizens to apply for recruitment. If our responsible and upright young ones are discouraged from joining the police, where are we going to source for the police officers of our dream? What is happening today? I don't even know one single policeman in my community, recruited in my community, for the past eight, 10 years. How do we now give meaningful contribution as to the quality and character of the people that are being employed? During the program, the Commissioner of Police in charge of the Adamawa State Command, Mohamed Bade, appeals for the rehabilitation of police training schools, while the state government reiterates the high premium placed on security. In the course of my service, I found myself in training institutions. And what I saw what I, was an ISO. And I think since we are trying to recruit more police, and train them so that they can be suitable to the society, I think our training institutions are supposed to be rehabilitated. Our government has placed high premium on peace building and security, and it occupies a pride of place in the 11-point agenda of this administration. The government has given a lot of support to the security agencies and has also encouraged communities to live in peace with one another through dialogue and other peace-building initiatives. The Police Service Commission's engagement across the country is to interface with the community in order to prevent bad eggs from entering the Nigerian police. Now let's go live to our Abuja studios where to discuss recruitment into the police force is the former Assistant Inspector General of Police, Dr. Bala Hassan, a pleasure having you with us on the program. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Presenter. Now, as a retired police officer, can you explain the process of recruitment into the Nigerian police force? Well, if you look at historical perspective, the recruitment into the Nigerian police in those years was rather analog, whereby Candidates will go to the police headquarters, collect some forms, fill them, and submit them, and undergo screening. Those processes in those days give room for taking people who are not qualified to join the force, because in the process of even collecting the form, some certain interest things may come in. The person giving you the form may collect some money from you. But right now, the Inspector General of Police has devised a means of synthesizing the public to tell the public that recruitment is free of charge. So the members of the public are, know that recruitment into the Nigerian police force is not being paid for. And it's now digital, whereby you go into a cyber care, fill in the required particulars, your own names, uh, school you attended. And all these websites are linked to uh, JAM, NECO, uh, WAEC, and also National Identity Management Commission. So there is no way uh, that that process is uh, somebody who has two or three credit cannot come and say that he has five credit because the portal would indicate because the, they are linked with this, uh, 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 these bodies, I told you, that conduct exams. And the uh, issue of uh, increasing your age, because in those days, 22 years ago, when we went around the country, uh, part of the country to check people who, who to check the bad, bad people recruiting the police, you find somebody probably of my age as a, as a corporal or, or a concept, which was unheard of. He has said that his age, he has, he has falsified his age. But we're linking it to people's need. There is no way somebody can come and put an age. If you declare an age, 
bracket that is higher than what is expected between 17 and 25, the NIN will show. So but these are that... procedures used to, to put check and balances on the quality of people that come into the Nigerian police. So you cannot have two credits and come and indicate you have five credits. Definitely it will be shown by the, by the system. So these are ways we put check and balance. But not only that, there are columns in the form whereby traditional rulers will sign their columns and the civil servants of grade level 12 or military officers of higher rank or an equivalent in the police force or other services could sign to show that you are of good character. So all these are check and balances to show that, to, to ensure that good people are recruited into the Nigerian police. The police did not stop there. After all this, those who qualify to be taken will undergo physical screening again. Right now, there are some officers in Kano and other states trying to see those who pass this stage. They are seeing them physically. They are measuring their height to ensure that you cannot see a short man as a police officer. You must be five, seven, in, five, six inches. And you don't, you don't need to have a bow leg. You shouldn't have a squint eyes. You should have deformed fingers. And you shouldn't have a flat foot. All these are criteria. So when this are measured physically and confirmed that uh, you have measured to the quality of the police they want. There's another section, Special Intelligence Bureau, who are there in the police headquarters to ensure that uh, if you have criminal record, they'll be able to fish you out during the screening. This is the second category of screening, which to ensure that we get best officers into the Nigerian police force. Then after well, this, again, by the time they go to police colleges, they've discovered that well, Dr. Hassan, if I, if I may, because you, you've listed... Stage. Dr. Hassan, if I may come in, because you've listed, you know, moving from the analog to the digital system and all the things that are being done to ensure that quality policemen are part of this, enter the force. But it doesn't still make the system flawless. The law of complaints, there are still bad eggs in the force. So what can be done to flush out those bad eggs or pre even prevent them from even entering in the first place? At the last stage of the screening, when they are to report at the police colleges, there is a system put in place whereby last screening is conducted because somebody can undergo all this screening. When it comes to start the training, they will bring their brothers and sisters to come and replace them. So even when you pass, you are going to the police college, the commandant has a duty to ensure that the people who have passed all these screenings are those who are being presented for the training. So when this is done, we ensure that high quality police officers are being produced. But not only that, the police colleges should be kept in a very habitable condition. There should be a good feeding system. There shouldn't be giving, days have gone whereby you will give people 100 naira meal, 100 naira per meal. These are gone, things are expensive. So you must ensure that this, the, 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 the recruits are properly fed and properly trained. When this is done, you ensure that the quality of police officer you bring out are of very, very, what you may call merchantable quality. They are the people that we can present to the members of the public. And of course, the training. You don't carry a disgruntled officer to a police training institution to go and train. You get okay. the best. Like in other services, they carry their best brains to the police college to teach these young ones. So the police shouldn't be carrying people to police colleges as punitive measures. They should carry the best brains, those who have okay. law degrees, those who have excellent degrees, send them to go and bring up this okay, thank you. who will be the mirror of the police and the mirror of the Nigerian society. So Dr. these are some Bala, of the measures put in place. Thank you so much, Dr. Bala Hassan. A pleasure sharing your thoughts with us on the program. Thank you very much, Mr. President.